Hey everybody, Casey Ferris here. I make videos on DaVinci Resolve here on YouTube. Make sure to subscribe for more of that if you want to. If you don't want to, well, don't do it. Today, we're talking about making multiple episodes of a show, whether this is if you put out a bunch of YouTube videos, <clears throat> like somebody I know. <laughs> this is whether you're doing something like a TV show or a YouTube show that you know has multiple episodes, anything that you kind of reuse elements with. Here's just a couple tips. This is gonna be really practical. This isn't like some secret or like template hack or anything. This is a really practical, just this is how I do things like this, and I hope it's helpful for you guys. So let's say we have a show and its name is some show. I don't know, some kind of show name. We have a fancy little intro here. This is made in Fusion with some 3D text. And let's say we're gonna put out multiple episodes and they all have this intro and they're all basically kind of the same thing. First thing I would do is actually make the intro if you haven't already. And here's what that looks like for anybody who is curious. And you can leave an intro like this as a fusion composition if you want to. And that can just live as a composition in your media pool here. The cool thing about doing it this way is if you had something like a subtitle here, so let's add something like. So if you had something like this and you wanted to have some kind of fancy animation on it. Like this. You could bring this intro into any timeline you wanted and you could go into Fusion and change this text and it would be different for each episode, right? So this episode's about cats, this episode's about dogs, right? If you didn't have something like this, it would be totally okay to just render out this intro because then Fusion doesn't have to cache every single time. Might even be worth rendering out the background and then having this as a separate layer over the intro. Or if you're okay with not having that exact animation, for your text, you could just have a normal text title over your original thing, right? And you could do it that way. It just kind of depends on what you're making. But basically, you'd have your intro. If you need it editable, you can leave it as some kind of fusion composition. If not, you could do something like select this, right click, and say render in place. And you could do a high quality render of this video. Put it somewhere super pro. Now you don't have to wait for this to render every time. You could do something like put your other title over it, right? Maybe you have some sound design. That'd be pretty cool. And you could keep those separate like this, or you could select them, right click, and make a compound clip. We call that intro. And now we just have those linked together. Easy to move around. But however you make your intro, I would put that on a timeline. And I'd make sure that this timeline is set up with the exact specs and everything that my show needs to be, right? So if my show is 1920 by 1080, at 24 frames a second. That's great, make sure that's all good. And I basically just set up one episode here, right? So I throw in the main content and everything and build out one episode. Let's say you're doing your vlog, right? And you're an astute businesswoman doing typing. Maybe you have some kind of outro, got your voiceover, and your whole episode's set up, right? I would go into Fairlight, make sure that any audio filters or any mixing kind of things are set right. And I would do it by the track actually. So I would make all of these tracks, like this would be like VO, and then this would be like sound effects, right? Whatever tracks that you have that are going to house like common things for each episode. And I do whatever common filters and everything you normally add to your audio here on each track. EQ, whatever it is. And all of that lives in this timeline and get everything set for this episode. Then after everything's built, because the, the reason why you want to build everything is so that you know what goes into it, right? It's hard to kind of plan before you even make something because there's going to be things that come up that you don't really see coming. But once you've built the entire episode and you're happy with it, what I like to do is get organized. So up here in the media pool, we'll make a couple bins. We'll make one for episode media. And this is going to be just any media that is only in like one episode, right? Just the specific media that goes into each episode. Then we can make a bin for intros and anything related to that. All of our audio, our fusion comp, that kind of stuff. You could even dive in and make another bin here, intro media, and put everything except for what you actually want to reuse, which is going to be this render into that intro media folder. Then we'll make another band and we'll call this episode timelines. And this will be episode one, throw that into episode timelines. And under episode timelines, what I do is duplicate this and this copy, we're going to turn into a template. And what I like to do is start with a underscore 
and say template like that so that when this sorts by name, it always comes up at the top. Then we can double click on this. And now, since this is a duplicate of our first timeline, we can really mess this up. And the worst we could do is have to go back to episode one again, right? But we get rid of anything that is gonna just be in one episode. Then we have our template ready. And what we can do is go up to where it says template, right click and say duplicate timeline. And now we'll have episode two. Double click on episode two. And what I like to do is when I have my content shot, is just kind of go to the end of this timeline, like way over here, and drag this in. And I can do my edit, right? Whatever craziness I want to do with my edit, make my content beautiful for the episode without the intro or outro, don't worry about that, just the bulk of the content. And then I can take this and hit Control Shift so that it will move the outro out of the way. And then we can just get rid of these gaps. And now we have our episode working beautifully. And then of course, we change this part to something a little more accurate. You know, just, um, you know, whatever's, whatever's true, whatever's right, and change our graphics for that. And so this is great because it's already set up for us and we can just hit render. And we always have our template to go back to for our next episode. And then you can just build your episode timelines here. You can organize your episode media by episode. That's a great way to just kind of manage this sort of thing in one project. You can also make multiple projects if you want to. You could just save this project as a new project and kind of use that as a template but it's the same basic workflow. You know what I'm saying? And this is how you make some show. If you want more stuff about making shows, here's a video right here that will help you with that. Some show. It's short, concise, descriptive. Probably want to learn how to edit